Hi everyone. Uh, today we're going to crack open another pack of Cons of Tarkir. So we have Trumpet Blast. Attacking creatures get plus two plus zero until end of turn. I knock Bonkend. This was a card I wish I would have gotten in the pre-release and kind of didn't. So it's two mana for 2-1. It has Outlast for two. Uh, each creature you control with a plus one plus one counter on it has first strike. This is a very good card. If you get this in, uh, in the pre-release, you should definitely be playing it. Whirlwind Adept. That is some really cool art on that card. I really like that. This is a five mana 4-2 with Hexproof with and prowess um so that's a that seems like a really good just guy card i didn't play just guy so i i don't know how it plays but um this seems like it could be really good and limited uh and that is that is just some some awesome art in that card i like that a lot we have mardu war shrieker so it's four mana three three with raid Molting Snakeskin, as I mentioned in a previous video in my uh, deck breakdown, my uh, Obzin deck breakdown, um, Molting Snakeskin did very, very well for me. So that's a, I, I think it's a very good card. Wooly Loxodon, I love elephants, I love playing elephants. Uh, seven mana, six, seven. It has morph, um, which is very relevant. Krumar Bonkin, uh, five mana, five, three. It's got morph for five. Uh, Pretty pretty good body. I would definitely play it if I opened it. Feed the Clan. Um, when I was playing in the pre-release, a teamer deck opened. Uh, a teamer deck opened. At least, well, he played two of these. I don't know how many he opened, but if you have uh, a creature with power four or greater, going up ten life is tough. Essentially, when I played that guy and he and he played two of them in our game, you know, it's essentially I had to. He got to play with forty life. I had to play with twenty. Um, this is a decent card. I don't know if you want a whole lot of them in your deck, but it seemed to keep the guy in the game a lot longer. Uh, Shambling Attendance. We've talked about that one before. we got a Dual Land, Jungle Hollow. Uh, black, green, Dual Land. Uh, it gives you one life when, when it comes into the battlefield. Our first uncommon is Scion of Glaciers. This is the first time I've seen this card. Uh, four mana, two, five. You can spend a blue and give it plus one, minus one until end of turn. That seems like it would be a really good limited card. I mean, you can you can pump that several times and make it a big creature. Um, and I, I happen to think it's got it's got pretty cool art too. It's kind of hard to tell what it is. <laughs> it looks like it's a it's a chunk of ice that's animated, but uh, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, we got Briber's Purse. Um, I don't think this did much for people in the pre-release, but I didn't play it. Um, Briber's Purse enters the battlefield with X gem counters on it. You can spend one and tap it, remove a gem counter from it, uh, and target creature can't block, can't attack or block this turn. So it's, you know, it can be used to delay the game. Our last uncommon is Dead Drop. It's 10 mana with Delve, and target player sacrifices two creatures. I think this is a, this is a very powerful card uh, in a limited format. I think it's going to be... Uh, pretty heavily played. Um, this may even see play in uh, some graveyard decks and constructed. Uh, just getting rid of some some cards that you don't need and uh, having your opponent sack two creatures. That's that's a pretty good deal. Uh, okay, uh, and our rare is Doom Blast. I so now I have the regular version and I have the foil date stamped version from pre-release. Um, I'm not super excited about Doom Blast. It's not a card that I would typically like to play. I'm not a, a Wrath of God player. I'm not a board white player. They're fun to play, but I just I don't play them. So Doom Blast is seven mana uh, for with white, black, and green, and you can choose up to one creature, destroy the rest. It can be a pretty good card in limited because it gives you a board state that if you pick your one big creature and then destroy everything else, uh, it allows you to to um, to have a better board state than your opponent. The problem with that is, I think, is that at that mana level, um, you're probably going to get a couple attacks in unless your creature is huge. Let's just say you have a 2-4 Flying Vigilance. Um, 
you're probably going to get maybe two, maybe three attacks in, and then your opponent's going to draw into some creatures, and chances are at that point they're going to have enough mana to help stabilize themselves. So while Doom Blast is cool, it's a great card, uh, I'm not sure I'm all in on it. I could be proven wrong. Um, I probably am, but for right now, I'm not terribly excited about Doom Blast. And we have a Swamp. There's the art. Conjuntarkir art for a Swamp. One of them. Oh, we got a bear token. We got a 4-4 bear token. Cool. I always like getting tokens. I wish every pack had a token rather than a tip card. Okay. So there we go, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.